ST Engineering has piloted an autonomous transport service. The autonomous shuttle can take up to 10 seated passengers. It is able to operate during good weather and moderate rain conditions. The service was launched in January 2021 and will run until 30th April, serving six stops along the three-kilometer round loop between Hoppa Villa MRT Station and the Gallant at Singapore Science Park 2. While the shuttle service plying the route is autonomous, a human driver will drive the shuttle manually for part of the route. Let's try to catch the autonomous shuttle. One of the stops is just outside Hoppa Villa MRT station. Information posters are located at all bus stops along the autonomous service route. Being an on-demand service, commuters must book a ride through the Zipster mobile app. Commuters can make bookings only when they are within the vicinity of their pickup locations. Payment is cashless and incorporated into the app. Each booking can take up to three passengers. For this pilot, the fare is a flat 20 cents per passenger per trip. Once the booking is confirmed, an e-ticket will be sent to the app and a notification will be sent to the shuttle. Commuters can track the estimated arrival time and real-time location of the autonomous shuttle. The destination cannot be changed once booking is confirmed. The shuttle can sense, recognize, and react to its surroundings. It has all-round perception sensors, light beacons, electronic display, It is an electric vehicle. A service ambassador on board checks your e-ticket on your phone. For safety reasons, young children, trams, pregnant women, and commuters in wheelchairs cannot yet be accommodated in the pilot. But in future, the plan is to allow everyone on board. An automatic ramp is available for ease of boarding. There are two service personnel on board. A safety driver takes over the driving when the autonomous shuttle is in manual driving mode. An ambassador helps to ensure commuters' comfort and safety throughout the journey. For safety, all commuters must be belted up during their ride. Here are the interior features. It's fully air-conditioned. There's a wheelchair bay, seat belt on all seats, overhead passenger display, Information screen Safety driver area Intercom Emergency stop button The trip starts off in manual mode and the driver drives the shuttle. At the next stop, the shuttle stops. The driver switches from manual to autonomous mode. Look, no hands! In line with regulations, the maximum speed is 25 km per hour when in autonomous mode. The ride is smooth and feels like a regular bus. Whenever the shuttle comes up to a parked vehicle, it is programmed to stop automatically. The safety driver will take over and manually overtake before switching back to autonomous mode. The autonomous shuttle can detect other road users, pedestrians, cyclists, and vehicles. When approaching a zebra crossing, the shuttle will come to a gradual stop if there are pedestrians on a zebra crossing or approaching it. As the bus captures information on each passenger's alighting stop, there is no need to ring a bell to alight. That's the end of the ride.